wondering, this is a little railway in Wales. And Mr. Smith has bought seven new engines. Boris was one of them, and he was really useful. Lucy was number two on the line, and she likes to help anyone who is in trouble. Alfred was number three on the line, and he likes to tackle the wagons. Edgar was number four, and he liked the carriages. Ronald was number five, and he liked his black coat. Johan was number six, and he is Boris's best friend. And Betsy was number seven, and she was Lucy's best friend, though she can be a bit bossy sometimes. Myle and Bob are Boris's coaches, and they help bring passengers up and down the line. Today was like no other day in the line, and Boris was feeling very bored. But this story will tell you about how Boris had his branch line, and before he had Marl and Bob. Boris was feeling very bored, and he had nothing to do. He was just sitting in the shed waiting for his driver to start him up and his fireman to light his boiler. This ain't no fun at all. I've been waiting for at least an hour or two and my driver and fireman still haven't come. Just then Mr. Smith came up with a work order for Boris to do some shunting. Oh great, a work order. Can you hide it? Sorry, I can't. Why not? Because I don't know any good hiding places. Besides, there is a surprise waiting for you in the yard. Oh, really? That's surprising. And before Mr. Smith could say anything else, Boris raced out of the shed. Oh, Later on, Boris chuffed into the yard and saw something really strange. It was a small coach and two strange things that his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, Boris. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. Boris wasn't too sure about it, but he reckoned it looked really good. Suddenly, he heard an extraordinary noise. <coughs> Who's that? It was Ronald. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. And he was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire. Help! Help! They're pushing me! They're pushing me! Ronald's train shot past and was gone. I'd like to teach those wagons a lesson, but he found out soon enough. Ronald is off the line! The breakdown train, quickly! Boris was coupled on and off they went. Boris worked his hardest. And you know, he isn't pretending to be like Edgar. Doesn't he really mean it? They found Ronald in a field. He was off the tracks and he was looking very downright miserable. Never mind, Ronald. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden brakes we gave you. They always said they were no good. Boris left the breakdown train alongside Ronald. Then he pulled the unhurt wagons out of the way. Oh dear, oh dear. Serves you right. Serves you right. He was hard at work pushing and pulling them all afternoon. This will teach you a lesson. This will teach you a lesson. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. They left the broken wagons and with two ropes they pulled Ronald back onto the road.